friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if this is your first time here, my name is Melissa. Welcome to the family, why not subscribe now, it's free, go on, just do it. <laughs> Today, as you can see, we are doing another monochromatic look. I am super orange, nails, top, everything apart from my hair is orange, and orange is probably one of my like least favourite colours to do, like primarily, but this might be my favourite one that I've done in my series. We've done green, blue, purple and pink thus far. I will link them all below if you missed them. But today we're doing orange. I'm going to be using mostly Kaleidos shadows. In fact, they're all Kaleidos. Yeah, I'm using all Kaleidos eyeshadows. And we're actually going to do everything like base and all on camera today as well. Just because I've not done it recently so I thought it'd be fun. My good friend and sausage Tia did a live on our Patreon Facebook group yesterday and she did orange and then I painted my nails orange and I was like I'm gonna kind of copy Tia and do an orange look so that's how it came about and I needed to do one anyway so yeah if you want to see how I did this look here my nails by the way are barium tangerine then keep on watching for a fun orange time I'm drinking orange juice what coincidence let us begin. This is Rebel and Candid, blah 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 blah, blah blah. Um, how blue does my eye look with orange eyeliner on, in love. I'm actually going to start off just by highlighting my brow bone and I picked my Barry M Baked Highlighter because this like, mi well, middle part is a real like peachy toned highlight and it's probably my only peach one, like realistically. It does show up real nice and peach. Like I don't know if that will come across on camera. And these highlighters are insane. So I can use this on the rest of my face as well. And I'm going to do my whole face on camera today. Because I don't think during any of my monochromatic series I've done my base. And I know that people and me like to watch the transformation of a base going on. So I'll do that today. Maybe like silently, but I'll at least show you what I'm using. It's such a nice under the brow highlight. I think we'll see more of it when I put it on my face. So for my eyeshadow, I picked one, two, three, four, five, six palettes out of my collection that contain oranges, but then I picked my, this is my only Z palette of singles. All of these ones are Kaleidos. These five, no, four. One, two, three, four. Five, include the black or ABH singles and then all of these are makeup obsession from the Ready, one of the Ready palettes but I'm just going to be focusing on these oranges and reds the yellow the black sparkly orange that's <laughs> what we're gonna do I'll list what palettes are from I think most of them are from one palette one of the like six pan palettes but it might be from two so I do apologize but what can you do I am gonna start off with this mega bright orange they don't have names like on the back i'm just gonna pop this on around my crease this was not a time consuming look because i did just want to do something a bit more kind of wearable i guess i don't like that word if i drop my brow you can see like I need to add more height, so that's what I shall do. Blush. Then I will grab just that same shape but on a like fluffier brush. Ignore my hair, I haven't even brushed it today. Before I go and like blend everything up and do my usual routine, I'm actually going to take this black. This is from the green palette, I'm pretty sure. I really only want a pinch of black, just for depth, because, you know, me and I feel like oranges don't really run deep enough. So I really don't want the black to be a feature, but I do need it. I just wrap it around and then pop it in the crease, you know? This Zoeva 228 brush is wonderful. 
So yeah, I'm gonna grab this red shade. I mean, it's kind of like ready orange-ish. So this is gonna start to blend out the black and offer more depth as well from the orange. I don't think I could have done this look with just purely orange eyeshadows. I wouldn't have had enough variety. It would have all been quite monotone. Also, my brows, by the way, aren't these shadows. My brows are my Soph Extra Spice palette because that's got quite a few. Um, I just dipped into the orange. That's got quite a few lovely orange shades in it. And I thought I might use that, but actually I'm quite glad I'm playing with these Kaleido shadows because I never play with them. And they are stunning. So I'll go back into that first one now and then I'm going to use this peach and then this yellow. Really good quality, these Kaleidos ones. Not um, high-end prices, certainly not drugstore prices. Yeah, not high-end, which is always pleasant. I will just grab like a, a different M514 actually uh, for the peach and the yellow. I would say it's not peach, like it is orange. But it's more of like a pastel-y, peachy orange. And it's really stunning. Obviously I'm getting my harsh line back because this is like... Those birds are so loud. Because it is like a pastel-y tone. Just wrapping it all the way around just so I want to put my liner on. I don't like the gaps, I hate that. That's what I hate about um, liner with like rounded looks. Then, now I've got that on, I'm gonna go back in with red, I think, first. Just see about that horrid harsh line that we didn't like. I don't know why I said that, I don't speak like that. <laughs> Denny Kenman! Oi! Trampoline, trampoline. Right, and then the orange. I added more when I put my cut crease on, which I'm going to do right this second. So I'm using my ABH eye primer, as always. And I'll fill this in. I'm not going to bother like wiping away and filling in and wiping away and cleaning up because I'm going over with like a super kind of textured metallic and you don't really notice like a build up underneath so I'm just kind of saving myself some time. You know me, you know I hate shimmery orange but I had to do it for today so I'm going to use this one which I think is from the same palette as these mattes I've been using. But again don't quote me on that, I'll just link the Kaleidos website. You can look for yourself. I'm gonna wet it just because I want maximum orange payoff. I mean, if you like sparkly orange, this color is pretty darn stunning. And I have to say, I don't hate it. <laughs> like when I put it on my other eye, I was like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but I don't love it. Like, that is pretty, isn't it? Like, I mean, that is pretty. It is pretty. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I don't really need to bother trying to get super close because I last minute addition, I added more liner. But I'll just take it as close as this brush will allow me. And then I'll just grab a beautiful, fresh, brand new M506 and just go through those shades that we used. Just to start blending this in. So a bit of yellow, then a bit more of the peachy one. I find these kind of colour schemes very easy to blend for some reason. And it usually just looks quite seamless on its own. And a bit of red. Also, these are maybe a bit more kickbacky than I thought they would be, but that's really like not a problem. I 
And then I did just add a wee bit more black. Just here. Just to deepen things up a little pinch. I'm going to blend this, don't worry. Never fear. Everything works out in the end, doesn't it? I always just fanny around on my outer corner until I'm real happy with it, which I'm never like a hundred percent, but I wonder if these will stain my skin or not. Yeah, I'll come back to that in a sec because it's just annoying me. <laughs> so I had to crack out my sheen liners, you know how much I love these, highly recommend. I have got Peach Puff and Tango. Peach Puff is going to go on a really thin line around my cut crease. Let me just clean off this brush. These are UV activated ones, but I'm not using it for that purpose. It's just because they're in the orange family. And of course this is just going to go all the way around. And I don't have to be like super super neat because I can go over it with a little bit more shimmer eyeshadow. I was going to go around with gems and then I thought there's no way I can be bothered trying to stick a million gems on today. Then the wing makeup tape. Thank you Paula. <laughs> um, we are going to bang this on and do a wing and I would rather be cautious and put my tape too low because then I can easily 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 fix it um, so I'll go back to my peach I decided to just kind of do peach into the orange because Tia has been doing that and um, like I said in the intro and she just looks thick so I'm going to put the peach at the front and that kind of meets up with that line Gives it a wee bit of dimension. And then I'll use Tango, which is my bright orange. And I'm going to pull this into a wing. Yeah, I've definitely done this too low down, but again, that is better than too high. Trust me. And so now I've kind of got a good, like, rough guide. I'll take that off. Yeah, see how that's like poking more sideways and that one's poking more up? Way better. Let me just change my battery because this is going to take a while. Hold on. Oh, so I've kind of got a guide on. Now, I did. I added the black again at the last minute. <laughs> um, and I started just like halfway. I don't take this all the way to my inner corner. I just watched a, a recent... Jamie Genevieve video where she did like a few like tips and tricks and one of them was like she only started her, la her liner like halfway and she cut her lashes in half and it made her eye look better I mean I'm definitely doing my wing more upright than her video told me to do but I did her look the other day and I did look really good okay I'm just gonna say it I did <laughs> um but yeah I'm just gonna start this liner halfway along and I need to now focus on what angle to do this at. Ooh, I'm like freehanding a wing. That looks pretty good actually. I am just gonna let that dry. It smells really nice, the air blowing through this. <laughs> Sounds like my perfume. I think when I put my orange on, this is gonna like really look better. So I'll start with my peach though. Just cause I made a bib at the front and also I do prefer two layers of these. And while that is still wet, I'm gonna grab my orange because then I can ombre it in so much better. I 
I think of all the products I've bought or got given in 2020, these are my favourite. Like, they've just, they just give me what I need and I don't really like loose pigments and having to mix them. I always either make too much or not enough and yada yada and these are just so convenient. Minimal, minimal, minimal cracking. They just make me so happy. And it's a real small independent brand. Um, I was sent these by the brand, but I bought my lovely friend Tia, who I spoke about in the intro, I bought her a set because I was so impressed and I knew she would love them. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, she really likes them. <laughs> Let's go in with a tiny bit more peach, just to make sure this is nice and ombre -ed. And then, once this has dried down, these dry down real quick. I'll go back in with my Ofra. This time being way more careful. I cannot recommend this eyeliner enough either, it's so good. And then I can just get rid of that line down there. Yeah, I think once I've got my lashes on this will look nice. I could sit and fuss with this for hours and I really don't want to. Waterline is my NYX Off Tropic. This is in the shade Mimosa Orange. I don't know if this is still available, um, but ColourPop has a nice orange. Um, use a lip liner if you want. I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Really nice and pigmented straight off the bat, but I will do a second layer later on just because that's what I do. And then I should still have some concealer down here. Um, so the lower lash line is really, really simple. I'm just going to, where's my pencil brush? My goodness, why do I lose everything in my life? Uh, just the red, the orange, the peach, the yellow, the black. I'll start off with a little bit of black. Yeah, literally simple normal shadows underneath which i'll probably smoke out a bit more when i got my base on just because it looks better that way i'll do another little layer of this i don't know if barry m maybe did an orange recently but i wouldn't have picked it up because it's a color i just don't reach for um do you know what, this side is definitely dipping lower than the other side. I'm just gonna grab what primer is left on my desk. And just clean up the bottom of this wing. My lashes, hold on, I threw the box away for some stupid reason. Majestic AF by Unicorn. Like I said, I've been doing that Jamie Genevieve. I mean, I say I've been doing it. I did it once and I'm doing it again. These are really beautiful. And sadly, I'm cutting them in half, but to be honest, it doesn't really bother me because I can still use them. So this is the inner part, the shorter part of the lash. I'll put my lash glue just straight onto my eye. This is my velour lash glue. It's my favorite. I will never, oh, I'll never change my mind on that. I will but not for a long time um, and then you can stick the lash straight on this is the trick of a lifetime it is the best thing since sliced bread for how to stick your lashes on not necessarily that I've cut them in half although that does make things easier but the lash glue on the eye rather than the lash band is just a game changer that that was seconds and that's the lash on but i actually double it up which i think you can kind of see a little gap in between them but i haven't actually 
like squeeze these together yet. There we go. I just decided to double it up because I thought it looked a wee bit more dramatic and that's what I like. So yeah, this is the half that I cut off. This time I'll just put the glue on the band. This lash will go oh, just on top of it. It's a little bit trickier just because like the lash I've already got on is quite 3D. I've got lash glue through my orange liner but that's okay. I can fix that up. And Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So my L'Oreal's pretty much finished. I'm going to put this on my own lashes towards the front. Just so I get a better gradient. And my own lashes are pitiful aren't they? Put this Barry M on my inner corner as well. In here. I'm enjoying how this is turning out. I've not put this lash on quite as nice as the other side, but now we can just clean up. I won't really have that much fallout, to be honest. I will go wet my sponge and then we'll put our base on. It'd be quite nice to do it on camera, I think. <laughs> On, pretty much. I mean, I look glorious. <laughs> I am literally in love with that um, L'Oreal foundation. I've been using that a lot. I've been only using that for like the past few days because I was like, I'm always using my NARS. So I've been reaching for it and wow. It's also too pale for me, which is great because I actually don't have to like take it down my neck and everything. But anyway, we're gonna move on to highlight and blush. So I'm just gonna use my collection Primed and Ready Chewy Setting Spray first. This has a lovely mister on it. I hope it doesn't annoy my water activated liners. <laughs> I dry my eyes first. Ugh. I don't want to completely dry off because I want to stick my Barium highlighter on a kind of wet base. So I'm just going to hit the peach. These are intense. This is perfect for this because it is so peach toned. Oh, my cheeks are actually still quite wet. Hiya. Hiya, what's your name? This, <laughs> this isn't Silver Solstice, by the way. Don't think I actually said. There is a darker one for deeper skin tones. Please have a look at these highlighters, they're insane. Let's put more in the inner corner while we're here. You can never have too much highlight in there, can you? Wow. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I like this. Yeah, I love this. Oh, I love this. I'm so glad I didn't, like, declutter it. That would have been so stupid and annoying. Oh. Can you see it? And blush. I do have this.
this new one. I don't think I've used it yet. Well, I've used it in my own time, but I've not used it on camera. I bought this in one of my Superdrug hauls. This is the I Heart Revolution Peach and Glow. And I think it's actually technically a highlighter, but it's like matte and then highlight. And I'll just use the matte side. That is me brush. Well, I might just... I might just kind of go in both. Pop this on. It's nice, it's a real nice peach blush. I always think blush just brings everything together. But I will go in as well with my wonderful favorite Barry M blush palette and the shade kind of mixed with this shade. It's a really like yellow tone. It's a bit odd, but I feel like it'll just match with my eyes really nicely. Yeah, got quite a lot of blush on, but I think that's kind of part of this look, isn't it? Do we only have lips left to do? Because I've got my eyes done. All I need to do is kind of um, smoke it out a little bit just because I covered it up with a bit of um, like face stuff. Just grab this brand new brush and just some of my like um, peachy orange just to help where I went over with a bit of my base. That was too much yellow because this is supposed to be an orange look. We're orange. Okay, a lip. I just need to change my battery though. <laughs> I just need to change my battery though because for some reason batteries are not lasting very long today because this has not been a long filming day. I'll just do one little dash more of this and then we'll I like to pick a lip. It's a really nice drugstore setting spray by the way it's only a fiver and it is wonderful that's this mind was a melon I have a few options for orange lips but they're kind of ready orange but they are orange technically, like I've got ABH Spicy, this 25 from Maybelline is like an, a red orange. I've got this one by the BAM, which I rescued out of my declutter pile just because it was orange and maybe to use it um, for today. And I've got this really cheap one, Technic Wild Child, and I've got Fenty Tang Thang, which is like the lip slip formula. I will say I'm probably being drawn to the Technic, which is like a massively cheap and it's nice, nice to pop cheap stuff on. I actually have an orange lip liner in my incredible new case of makeup. Um, this is by Kiko. This is the shade 02. I got this a very, very long time ago. I don't know if they still have it, but anyway, it's orange. I love that lip liner and yeah I'll use Technic Wild Child. I might go over the top with the Fenty. Yeah that's orange. I think a, a bold orange always kind of goes towards the red family but it is orange. They don't have like an excellent formula but they're fine you know. They're so cheap. Technic's like one of those brands that you find in like bargain stores. It's like too cheap for super drug even. Just need to clean it up a bit. Not too badly done today. I must say Melissa. That's quite nice. That is alright. And then yeah, I'll take my Fenty Tang Tang Thang. Just her like more like a wee pop of sheen and a bit of moisture. That's so nice. I like the formula on these, um, I don't know what they're called, lip slips or slip shines. I just think it's a real nice formula. Okay, I'll do something with my hair. You've already seen. And that'll be us. I'm like quite happy because this is so wearable. Like if you took, if you just did like normal colour eyebrows, I would wear this anywhere, you know. 
it's not maybe strictly orange, but there is a lot of orange going on. So yeah, anyway, back in a bow. I put on the only orange top I own, which is this very high tight neck thing. I don't like high necks on me anymore, but it's the only orange one I've got. Got my orange nails were done, obviously. Um, what do you think? I'm actually really happy with this makeup look. I think it might be my favorite that I've done in my monochromatic series, which is super weird, but I don't know, it just feels very kind of wearable and cohesive and I love these like peachy tones going on on my cheek here. I just, oh, I love them. I think the orange glossy lip is super pretty. The eyes are nice. I even like that sparkly orange on my lid, like it's not offending me at all. What are your thoughts? Like compared to my other ones, which have been like so much more dramatic, like what do you prefer? This kind of more wearable? look or do you prefer the fancier ones with like the gemstones and the massive cut creases and things like that i mean we all have different styles and some days we like to be more natural than others you know that's not often for me but sometimes so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel that'd be super great we've obviously got way more videos in this series to do like i still have to do yellow um other colours, black and white, you know. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, um, have a nice day, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Ta-ra! Wait, I should wave that way. Bye! So coordinated.